Yo, what is happening? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to another video. So today, guys, I kind of want to talk about something um, Bobby Poff related. You know, this whole cheating situation, what's going off at the moment. You know, many of YouTube, well, plenty of YouTubers have been talking about it. And I, I, I kind of want to say something now since the last video I made regarding this. I was watching a Call of Shame video earlier today. Um, and there was parts of Call of Shame's video where he was discussing, well, showing clips that Bobby Poff is coming out saying he's going to get his solicitors, you know, lawyers involved, whatever, you, you know, you refer to them as, depending on what country you're in. Um, and then there's loads of bots in the comment, just simpletons who are just saying, he can't see he's agreeing to the terms of service, you know, for playing a video game and all that. And I'm like, people need to kind of like just fucking... Like, just use a bit of common sense. You know, a, a tiny bit of intelligence before you open your mouth and start talking shit on the internet. Now, defamation of character, guys, is basically defined as... Well, it's, it's basically an act of communicating false information about someone or a business in this instance. Because, again, Bobby Poff isn't just someone. He's a business. He's got a brand that basically damages their reputation. It can be done like... I don't know, various ways you can slander somebody, libel, you know, social media posts, you know, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, not all negative comments are, like, kind of uh, defamation. Um, like, obviously saying, oh, I think he's shit at Call of Duty. You know, that's, that's not in defamation. However, when we look at it in, in the terms what, you know, Bobby's kind of, I believe, trying to look at it at from, is that he's obviously upset. Because his reputation now, because of him getting permanently banned playing Call of Duty, has basically had a massive effect on him, his brand, and his earning potential. Obviously, you know, sponsorship, stuff like that, may not be as forthcoming as what they was previously. So, again, he's going to lose money. Um, and obviously, his reputation, and so on and so on. So, it, well, it's not my video, it's Call of Shame's video. I'm going to say go and watch that, I'll put a link in the description. That Bobby's coming out saying that he's going to... I don't think he outright says he's going to sue Activision. He just comes out saying he's going to look at his legal options. And obviously, that would be suing Activision. So, we've had a few you know, YouTubers talk about stuff like this before. Just saying that, oh, I'm going to sue him. This is a false ban. And nobody's ever come out you know, on top. Nobody's ever sued Activision um, for apparently getting a false permanent ban. Activision's already come out and said that there's no such thing as a false ban permanent ban, you know, shadow bans, we, we know all that kind of stuff happens occasionally, um, just through mass reporting, but yeah, there's no such thing as a false permanent ban, so this leads me to thinking that, okay, he's come out, he's already said he's going to look at what his legal options are, from my point of view, again, I'm not a specialist in um, defamation law, however, it's pretty simple that by Activision, banning him from playing essentially you know his major game he plays warzone even though he's made another account which again activision should be shutting that account down immediately because once you're banned from playing the game you are banned from creating other accounts so i don't know why such a high profile streamer can get away with you know just creating another account um it's it's crazy um i think there was a fortnite stream years ago where he actually got dumb for cheating and he kind of tried making accounts and they'd ban him instantly um, so again, it is possible for you know Call of Duty, Activision, Microsoft to you know continue banning Bobby from playing their game. I don't think they'll do that. I think they'll just let him get away with it because you know we've had various big streamers get away with it you know time and time again. But yeah, the difference with this is he's actually come out and said that he's going to look at what legal options he has. From my opinion, I believe he has got a valid claim here if he is not cheating, and that's what it all comes down to. If this was to go to court, everything would come out. Absolutely everything. Maybe Activision could go into more detail of what he was doing. Um, and it could ruin his reputation even further. At this moment in time, he's coming out with an excuse. Uh, again, I'm, I'm sourcing, you know, Call of Shame's video here. That apparently it was something to do with a foot pedal. That he toggled, you know, voice chat on and off in game chat. I just don't understand how that would, you know, be be banning him based on that it's not got anything to do with the Call of Duty app. It's got nothing to do with the game. It doesn't read the game or modify, you know, the game files and memory. Um, it's a totally external app. So I've got no idea 
why that would ban him or it would flag that game data has been engineered in such a way. So yeah, it's, um, I'm going to say it'd be good if he did actually go out and sue them because then we'd all find out, you know, what's really gone off, guys. You know, you can only, you know, surmise what he's saying. Like, you know, he's come out, already said that multiple people use his PC. I think he's come out and said something along the lines of um, that, I, I don't know if this was Bobby, but a lot of cheating streamers come out and say that, oh, well, I paid somebody else to level up my account and they must have used, you know, some hacks or something. You know, there's excuses left, right, and center, guys. I think we've had, again, like I've already said in the video, you've had multiple people come out and say they're going to sue Activision, you know, for cheats, that I've been falsely banned, blah, 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 and they just go away into the night. You know, you've had Wagnificent, who's got caught cheating twice. He doesn't even play the game anymore. I don't even think he does video games anymore because he's that embarrassed. Um, but again, you know, the only people who know who's actually cheating are Activision. And I believe once Activision issues a permanent ban to somebody, that is good enough for me to actually come out and call you a cheater. Until then, obviously, there's loads of dodgy clips on the internet and stuff like that. You know, like Nadia, for example, where she does really, really good online, but when she goes to land, she's dog shit. I think that's pretty much a, as big of a red flag as you can get. It, it's just crazy that the game has got skill-based matchmaking in it, and all these streamers are streamers. They're not professional gamers, as in, like, eSports gamers, I should say. Sorry, they are professional gamers, but they're not, you know, eSport gods. They're not, like, you know, the best 0.1% of a player like these streamers. But for some reason, these streamers do... You know, incredibly well, again, while they're playing in the bedrooms or whatever you want to, you know, derogatory term you want to refer to it as. But again, when they all play on LAN, they all play a lot worse than what they do. You know, the aim seems off. And that's kind of the problem with gaming. Nobody trusts anybody now. And again, like like I say in most of my videos, I believe strongly that the majority of streamers are cheating to some extent. It may be wall hacks. It may be aim hacks. It may be things such as macros. Macros are cheating. You know, like these X-Sims and all this kind of stuff. There's loads of devices, even on consoles, guys, what cheat. You know, there's more complex cheats out there now where you, you run a second PC with a card in it, and a, like a memory card. It reads the game data, and then it puts it through onto another PC so you can see walls. It's crazy, guys. The level of cheating is so sophisticated, you wouldn't even begin to imagine how bad it can be, guys. Um, and again, like I say, you know, Bobby Hot Poff probably earns £100,000 a month streaming, guys. That's how much he earns a month. 100000 and that's lowballing, guys. It's probably more than that. So again, these aren't bedroom streamers, as I said earlier. These are professional gamers, and they've got a lot of money to make from cheating, playing not just Call of Duty, playing any game out there, guys. So if you're thinking you're going on Twitch TV, YouTube, and you're watching these people play, and they're all legit, I'm sorry, but you're just a bit simple. If you think that they're just that good at a video game, it's it's crazy. Especially when the games have got skill-based matchmaking in them. They've got engine-optimized matchmaking. Sorry, engagement-optimized matchmaking. You know, they shouldn't be dropping nuke after nuke after nuke on Call of Duty. You know, going 101 kills to one death or something like that. You know, back in the day, we actually trusted people playing Call of Duty. Like, back when the Hovis Man was around... And all these other really, really good gaming channels, you know, because they were playing on like Xbox 360s, PlayStation 3s. Cheating wasn't a thing then. But yeah, now I think the prob the biggest problem with gaming right now, straight up, is cheating. And like I've said throughout this video, guys, there's a lot of money to be made cheating playing video games. But again, this is just my opinion, guys. Again, I've cited a couple of sources from Call of Shame's um, video, so a big thank you to him or her. Um, for providing that information. But yeah, guys, again, my opinions here in this video. At the end of the day, the only people who know if somebody's cheating or not are Activision, and if Activision p issues a p permanent ban, that's good enough for me to say you are a cheating son of a bitch.